welcome to your first episode with Kirk the Bowtie Guy over here at Cavender Audi, San Antonio, Texas, here to show you the new and improved 2017 Audi Q7. After 10 full years of production, and over 16,000 units sold here in the United States, now the new and improved Audi Q7. Sporting features such as 475 pounds trimmed off of its curb weight, riding an inch and a half lower to the ground, and body lines modified to improve interior headspace for your rear passengers. Today's video is aimed towards showing you some of the safety features that the new Q7 sports, such as the blind spot monitor you see here on the inside of the mirror housing. With its weight being reduced, it's now even more efficient and your stopping distances have been improved. As an added safety feature with this new Q7, you now have the option of, with the simple motion of your foot, opening your tailgate for added convenience with full hands, load what you need to. You can also do the same with the same motion to close your tailgate, making it much more convenient for loading in or out of the vehicle. Here we've got the side mirror with your blinker LEDs that come all the way across. Underneath here, you've got a camera that helps with your top view. You've got one of those on both side mirrors, as well as a front and a rear camera, which help give you maximum visibility of your vehicle from inside for added safety of moving your car in and out of parking spaces, uh, parallel parking, and other features such as that. Here in the front, you've got your daytime running lights that are on the entire time the vehicle runs, as well as optional LED head headlights that are brighter and more efficient. Walking around the back of the vehicle, we've got full LED taillights with a twin aero design. They come and split here. They light up brighter and faster, so people behind you react faster to you, which equates to better safety and reduced rear end collisions. As we fire up the new Q7, you'll notice up here quite a few new features. Your virtual cockpit, the layout of the dash is quite a bit different with your touchpad, eight presets. Moving up here, you've got dual climate control with heated and ventilated seats, your drive select buttons, and my personal favorite, your screen up here, which gives you quite a few options, such as your park assist, which gives you many different options for safety and visibility as pulling in and out of spaces. You've got a 180, panoramic view you've got the front camera which also shows you lines of the vehicle as you turn rear view camera as well as the 180 panoramic rear rear view as you can see here on the inside of the mirror housing you've got it lit up right now uh, part of your blind spot side assist monitor panning back here we've got the red LED light that comes on on the inside of your door panels um, lighting up to alert you of someone coming up from behind so that you don't end up getting hurt. As an added convenience with the new Q7, one thing that they've done, the seat folds down just as before, but now you actually have a hydraulically assisted raising of the seat to make it quite a bit easier to get into the third row. Also, as you can see here, more headspace for even adult sized people, as well as power switches for your up and down function of your rear two seats. Pretty cool. Two added features with the new Q7 that they've now added is your with your full digital cockpit, you actually have the navigation screen where you can adjust the size of your gauges and still have your navigation, as well as an optional heads up display that would project how fast you're going up in front of you to keep your focus the entire time you're driving in front of you. Pretty cool. As another added safety benefit with the new Q7s, if you if the car is sensing that you are in imminent proximity of another vehicle, it will actually automatically roll up the windows and close the sunroof and uh, self-tension the seat belts. That's pretty safe in my book. This concludes Kirk the Bowtie Guys 2017 walk around safety video.